the same Then take it to the grave I know it cannot date But you shutting down the place And do it every day And do not really play Alright, what is good everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Moody. Y'all watching Moody TV. You already know what we getting into today. We're picking up these sand foam runners. Let me know in the comment section if y'all are lucky on the confirmed app because I'm not so lucky. But you know what I am lucky at? I'm getting them in-store reservations at the Adidas store. That's pretty much the only way that I get Yeezys really outside of trading something. Speaking of trades, before we even go pick those up, I just made a trade last night. I feel like I got a pretty good trade off, but we're gonna be uh, shipping off these um, University Blue Ducks here. I did a, a video on these a long, long time ago. I thought I was gonna end up wearing these. This was around the time that, this was around the time that I thought that I could really like fit an 11 and a half in dunks. I didn't have too many dunks. Um, so once I got the 11 and a half, I did try these on, but um, they don't fit the way I would like them to. So I had an offer for the University Blue Dunks for the University Blue Fours. Now I already have a pair of those as well, but I'd rather trade this for something that I can actually wear. And I feel like the the dunk, the University Blue Dunks will eventually restock eventually. I don't know when, but. They, they restock dunks all the time. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna be able to see those again soon, but in a size 11. But I mean, outside of that, let's go ahead and pack these bad boys up and then head on to the mall. So let's go ahead and get y'all. Let's go. So, back at the house. Sorry if you've been watching this video and you made it to this end thinking that you were gonna see, you know, some Yeezys, you know, hopefully to get a review out of me from the channel, but unfortunately, that won't be today. Let me explain why. So, you know, I did everything I did, uh, you know, went all the way to the mall, we shipped off the shoes, you know, went to EBS, dropped them off, got to the mall, right? You saw me go to the Adidas store, I walked in, I stopped recording because I'm like, I'm recording on my phone. Let me go ahead and pull out my, you know, reservation so they can scan it, get it in. First of all, first red flag when I walked in, when I walked in, there was nobody in that store. Normally, there'd be a line of people. You got people lining up. All right, cool. Like, what's your size? You know, coming in, coming out. I'm going there. There's nobody in line. He's like, hey, what can I help you with? I go to the front like, I'm here for a reservation. Oh, we stopped giving out reservations at three o'clock. I look at my watch, it was 345. And I'm just like, hmm. I was like, oh, wow. At first I'm just like, I'm shocked cause I'm just like 11. I was like 3 p.m. is the cutoff. Now, mind you, I did have to book like a time slot with Adidas. So like normally whenever you do hit in store, at an Adidas store, which is not that many. It's only a few select Adidas stores on the Adidas app that you can actually in store, hit in store. And it set up a time slot for me from one to three, but I know for a fact when me and Naveen have been to, you know, the Adidas store a few other times where we, I've, I wanna say most recently the, the Zebras has been the last time that I personally hit. No, there's been Yeezy slides, but I know for a fact that like for the past two releases, Yeezy slides and for the Zebras, both of those pairs you had until 5 p.m. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, you know, 5 p.m. I'm straight, right? Negative. I'm mad, right? And internally, I'm like, wow, I drove. Mind you, I drove 45 minutes, bro. I was in Houston traffic, bro. Houston traffic, my boy. It's... It's not fun. It's not something that you want to sit in all day, bro. 45 minutes. I get all the way there. You got to find parking. I go all the way there for you to tell me that it's like, you can't sell it to me. So I left and I'm walking 
And I'm thinking to myself, I'm just like, nah, look, I need to ask one more question. Go back, ask the guy. I'm just like, hey, yo. So that pair that I was supposed to have, what happens to it? Like, you know what I'm saying? What, what happens now? Like, did y'all sell it already? Because if you under, you know, like, did y'all sell it already? Like, I was 45 minutes late from the time, so I'm like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? They said, you know what they told me? They said that they're going to send it back to the warehouse. I'm sitting here in my head like, the warehouse? He was just like, yeah, they only let us sell it between 11 and three, mind you. 11 to three is four hours. It is Friday. You know, normally if people still have work, still got jobs and still got to work, you know what I'm saying? Typically the, the time frame that people work is nine to five. So like you really don't have no time to pick it up for real, for real. So it's like, you know, and on top of that, if they don't pick it up, nobody else can get it. What happens to that pair? Like, that's really my question is what happens to that pair? Like you send it to Adidas. What do they, what is confirmed going to like do a shock drop or something? Like I'm, I'm confused. Like why, if you already shipped it to the store, why not already sell it while it's at the store? You know, I'm I, I'm thinking it's BS, right? I'm thinking it's bull just for the simple fact that I you you hear a lot of stories about backdooring, you know, stuff like that. But at the same time, he asked me if I wanted to ask a manager, talk to a manager about it. I was just like, I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna. There's nothing I can really do about it. I'm not gonna sit here and yell at the top of my lungs, demand that y'all sell me a pair of foam runners. It's not that serious at the end of the day. It's still a pair of shoes, right? So I'm not, I'm not tripping off of that. I would have tripped if it was like some, you know, turtle doves or wave runners or like something that's like really, like something that I would have really wanted. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, it wasn't anything that I really cared for. It was, it was really gonna be something that I was gonna get here, talk about on the channel and then go about my day. Compare it to, you know, other colorways to see how light it was. It looked like it was a white. I was gonna see if that was true. Fortunately, we won't be getting around to that today. But yeah, it's crazy. I was not able to pick up those foam runners today. Well, you know, on the way home, I was very upset. I was talking on the phone, you know, letting out my anger towards it, you know, just talking about it. And by the time I got home, it's like, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm still I'm still salty, right? I had to drive there and back. That's time that I will never get back again. But you know, I'm still salty. But at the end of the day, one, it ain't never happening again. They're never getting me like that again. If I know that it's gonna be a reservation and I went in store, I will be there first thing since y'all wanna play. Or, or I'm just, whatever time my slide is, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm there on time. I thought that maybe there was gonna be a, you know, cause they, with COVID, you know, a whole bunch of, places started doing like time slots where you can like set appointments to come in and do stuff like typically like you can set that appointment time but if you come in later you can still do what you got to do you can still get what you need but in this case I guess one to three was the last time slot <laughs> I thought it was going I thought it was like a one to three four to five or you know three to five or something no three o'clock was the last time slot and of course you know confirm doesn't help much the only way how I can hit on Yeezys is if it's in store, unfortunately. And even with it being in store, it sucks to think that you still can't get your pair. Especially, bro, Houston traffic is so bad, bro. Houston traffic is so bad. Like, like I had enough time to get there on time, but I'm thinking like, you know, I should be able to get there and not have any issues. You know what I'm saying? But um, since y'all still here, we gonna unbox some shoes still. Uh, so let me grab him from the door and then I'll be right back. So give me one second. Uh, I mean, at least we got something this week. We got some type of W. So we gonna go ahead and break this bad boy open here. Uh, I know y'all wanted to see some Adidas shoes, but unfortunately I can't do that for you today. So if you don't know, now you know. You already know what that box is right there. Here you go, right there. Size 11 and a half. The sneakers app had a live stream, right? And in the live stream, they had, they restocked a whole bunch of Jordan 1s. Let me know in the comment section if you was able to hit on one of those Jordan 1s. But yeah, they restocked on these. I feel like it was the best W. It's also a shoe that haunts me because when these initially came out, 
you know, this was the time when they were doing in-store raffles only before they had exclusive access. And me and the V missed the phone call to get my size in, in this shoe. So got that shoe right here today for retail after, and I also ended up paying resale for it, unfortunately, but bam, these Shadow 2.0s. Um, these ended up restocking as, as soon as they went live. I seen it on, I seen it on the first phone, but it didn't pop up for me. But once I pulled out the second phone that I had with the second account, ended up showing up, it said 170. I went through, purchased, I got the got em screen immediately. And I want to say that this is probably one of the best, one of the better Jordan 1 silhouettes that they had uh, coming out last year. But yeah, this this was a dope colorway for sure. Um, at least we got something today. You know, it's not all bad. There's goods and bads. Um, if you want to learn a lesson from me, if you live in one of those um, very, very niche locations for the Adidas store, you know, don't make the same mistake I did. Get there on time. Okay, look, I'm thinking, you know, but you know, sometimes you think wrong. So um, I'm not going to keep y'all up that much longer. Shout out 2.0s. <laughs> we got these from the sneakers app. Uh, we gonna end the video with a smile on our face, okay? Uh, y'all get down in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Has anything ever happened like like this to you before ever? If we're never dealing with any type of shoes, buying, selling, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that. Y'all let me know. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, so y'all let me know in the comment section. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'm really sorry. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm sorry if I clickbaited you uh, to think you was going to see some foam runners. Um, but I really just wanted to tell my story. I started recording this video and I was not going to scrap it. Okay. That is it, everybody. Make sure you get down into the comment section. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like it for me, please. I had to drive all day today to get nothing. That at least deserves a like. You know what I'm saying? A share, maybe. I won't make that mistake for the next time, so definitely if I hit in store, you will know in the post section on my YouTube channel and from the video that I post from actually getting the shoes. So we'll see whatever Yeezys pop up, whatever good pops up at the Adidas store so we can pick those up in store and actually get them in hand. But that's it, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get on out of here and get this video edited. Enjoy y'all weekend. Be safe, have fun. Don't be picking out no tissues that may be stuffed in your, in your door handle. And then be safe out here, all right? All right then. I'm gonna check in with y'all in the next video. It's gonna be coming real soon. And then, yeah, appreciate y'all. See y'all later. I'm gone. <laughs>